What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards to the post-fight recap. Man, what do we think about this fight? Look, didn't this fight have it all? Excitement? drama the first round right like we saw leon edward take control of the first round and won the first round then from the second third fourth round it looked like it was going to be the exact showing of what we saw last time where kamaru uzman went to the ground took him down controlled the time and it seemed like he was well on his way to winning again 16 in a row it seemed like the inevitable was going to happen you could see that Kamaru Usman and his team, they, they went back and watched the first fight and did everything based on what worked last time, right? I, usually in the past couple of fights, you see Kamaru Usman being, a, being more of a striker than a grappler. But in this fight, it looked completely different. It looked like that was the focus because that's what happened last time. As I said in the breakdown, if anyone was going to beat Kamaru Usman in this division, it's going to be Leon Edwards. The last round comes and it seems like Kamaru Usman is doing what he's been doing the past three, four rounds, seizing control of it. Like there were times when I was looking at Leon Edwards' body language and I was just like, oh man, Kamaru Usman broke him. He was going back to the corner, wasn't really looking his coach in the face. His coach was trying to get him fired up, pumped up, giving him good cues, but it didn't seem like he was there. It looked like physically he was there, but his mind was elsewhere. It looked like he... Thought he couldn't win, or so we thought. Leon Edwards seemed like seems to be a very smart guy, very calculated guy in the octagon and away from the octagon. Maybe he had a plan that we didn't see. Maybe that was him trying to figure out and trying to replay. Man, how do I go about this? How do I do this? I also said in the breakdown, I said the kicks are going to be a very good thing if he can use it consistently and not forget about it. And then we see the last two minutes of the fight. And then we saw Leon Edwards shoot a straight hand for the right. Kamara Usman ducked it and the left leg came and clipped him on Kamara Usman's face. And that was a wrap. My goodness, that place was electrifying. We did not see that coming. You could hear everyone was counting him off. Everybody was writing him off, and myself included. I was thinking to myself, man, I don't look, it doesn't seem like anything is going to change, right? But then we saw MMA is one of the most unpredictable sports out there because at any given moment, anything can happen. And we saw that. Leon Edwards, we saw that. He showed us just that. And I think after the fight was finished, and they announced his hand as, as the winner. I don't even think that he really, I think he was shocked. I think he was still stunned. I don't think he believed what had just happened. I think he wasn't, it didn't click inside of his head that he just knocked out the guy who had been cleaning out the division and running circles around the division. And now he's the champion. And what's interesting about Leon Edwards' career in the past three years, he's had so much fights rescheduled, so many fights that were supposed to happen that didn't happen. And you could see the frustration if you were watching the UFC 278 countdown. And now to see how it unfolded this time, when the odds was not in his favor, when it looked like all hope was lost, when it looked like there wasn't a way to come back and win this fight, Leon Edwards stayed focused, stayed locked in, and found a way to win the fight. This was a very, this was a very interesting night. And if you made some bets on Leon Edwards by KO, you had a beautiful payday. I would ask you, who would you like to see Leon Edwards fight next? But we both know there's going to be a third fight between Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards. Because if anybody deserves a rematch, it's Kamaru Usman. What were your thoughts on this fight? How did you have it going? Who did you see winning this fight? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, and do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.